at number 10, we have the Nico GPX. Now, the Nico GPX is a little Italian theme number. Uh, Again, standard 50cc, capped to 30 miles an hour. It's got a sporty style and packed with technology, which also comes as standard LED lights, uh, semi-digital display. So the usual bits which you'd like on a, a comfy little brand new commuter. Small race uh, rear shock, so it's a bit different for a 50, but yeah. still good nonetheless. In terms of price, you're looking at about £1,700 for the bike. It's a four-stroke air-cooled single cylinder. Of course, it's an automatic, so twist and go. You get electric and a kickstart, not too bad there. And miles per gallon, of course, all of these bikes are going to be great, but this one's about 120 or thereabouts miles per gallon with a 6.8 litre tank. Uh, front brake is a hydraulic disc and the rear is a drum and the weight's about 80 kilograms. So moving on to number nine, it's the Piaggio Zip 50. Now there's no surprises here, you know, Piaggio making a 50cc scooters list because they are well known for their scooters. The Zip 50 itself is an iconic scooter for city riders. That's pretty much exactly what the market they want to aim the scooter at. As standard with Piaggio, you can expect solid design, you get some great features, just looks the part basically. You get a large underseat storage, which is enough for a full face helmet, which is always welcome, and an adjustable seat. You do pay a premium, of course, because it is Piaggio brand. So it's about £1,900 that you'd expect to pay. You always do with Piaggio, but a few stats of the bike. It's using the Piaggio or Vespa I get single cylinder four stroke air cooled engine. 115 miles to the gallon with a 6.6 .6 litre tank, so that really isn't bad at all. We have a weight of 95 kilograms for, I'm not sure whether that's dry or wet, but either way with a 6 litre tank, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, next up is the AJS Digiton. Now, this bike sold reasonably well in 2018, uh, and that's probably a lot of it to do with the low price. You can pick one up for under £1,200, 1150 uh, For your money, you get good quality parts, a stylish scooter, uh, front disc brakes, telescopic front suspension. So the usual nice bits on that kind of bike. So Yeah, I can't complain with that at all, especially for that price. And for that price, you do get a four-stroke air-cooled engine. It's going to be single-cylinder, automatic twist and go, of course. It's an electric and kickstart. 123 miles per gallon or thereabouts on a 5.5 litre tank. And with the brakes, front is a disc, rear is a drum, weight of about 78 kilograms, nice and easy. Now with the Aprilia SR50R at number seven, it's basically gonna be quite a super sports scooter. And that's quite a strange one for a 50cc to be going for like a super sports theme. But again, it's pretty ideal for the 16 year olds who are looking to get onto their first scooter. So of course the Aprilia SR50 series is the benchmark for a performance 50cc scooter. It's still within all of the, you know, the normal limits and it's gonna be everything you expect capped at 30 miles an hour. But you do get front and rear disc brakes and telescopic hydraulic suspension. You can also find a racing replica model as well if you really wanna go for it. Uh, on the Aprilia website, it does list these bikes as a two stroke. So unheard of really for the Euro 4 regulations. It's a Hyper 2 Pro engine as well. Liquid cool, 2,600 pounds you'd expect to pay. Which isn't too bad for a name like Aprilia, just like the Piaget really. Uh, like you mentioned with the engine, going on to statistics, it's a, it's a two stroke single cylinder engine. Um, it is Euro 4 compliant, not entirely sure how Aprilia have done it, but they have 115 miles to the gallon, uh, but it's a seven litre tank, so a bit bigger than the other, yeah. other ones you've mentioned, and a weight of 108 kilograms. So it is a bit heavier, but with the sporty styling, yeah. you'd expect it a little bit, wouldn't you? At number six, we have the Kimco Agility 50. Now, the Agility 50 is Kimco's entry-level scooter and a true example of high quality at an affordable price. It's a perfect option for a budget 50cc that still has rider comfort in mind. It's small, light, reliable, and a price of around £1,600. It's not exactly going to break the bank. Now, the specifications, typically the engine is a four-stroke single-cylinder air-cooled engine. Uh, automatic transmission as expected electric and kickstart. The miles to the gallon is around 102. From a five litre tank, you're not complaining at that at all. The front uh, brake is a disc, rear is a drum, and a weight of 92 kilograms. It's, uh, you know, it's fairly lightweight, but it's not exactly gonna compromise the stability of the bike being that weight. At number five, we have the Vespa Primavera. So again, another Vespa Piaggio brand here, and it's one of the more expensive options on the list. So the 50cc Primavera from Vespa, in 2018 hit its 50th anniversary. Uh, you will be paying around £3,200 to get one on the road though. So again, it is the Piaggio brand that you're buying into there. You are guaranteed to be happy on the scooter, I'm sure. Um, and it is more common as a 125 rather than the 50, but it does still sell reasonably well for a stylish commuter scooter. Statistics behind it, it's a four, uh, four stroke air cooled uh, single cylinder engine. Not sure whether they're using the iGet engines, but regardless, it's a great engine. 
92 miles to the gallon, so not as good as the other ones, considering it's a seven litre yeah, tank. But I think that's because of the weight. It's coming in at 115 kilograms, so it is fairly weighty. Uh, front disc brake and rear drum, so similar to a lot of other scooters at the moment. At number four is the Sim Simply 50, a great little option in the 50cc market for scooters here, giving you everything you need but at a nice low price. You can pick one up for £1,350, nothing to turn your nose up at. Nice uh, you get big enough under seat storage for a full face helmet, it's got a rear rack, clean, stylish, a stylish look to it, and quite simply a ridiculous estimated miles to the gallon of around 160. So if you got this bike, you're not going to be paying much to fill it up because it's a five and a half litre tank. With that miles to the gallon, the price is a bit of a, a, a no-brainer. In terms of the stats, uh, it's a four-stroke air-cooled single cylinder, automatic twist and go. As you mentioned, the miles per gallon is ridiculous at 160 with that 5.5 litre tank. Front disc, rear drum brake and a weight of 100 kilograms. So all in all, quite a nice little scooter for the Sim Simply 50. Now moving on to number three, we have the Yamaha Aerox 50. Now this is another favourite uh, amongst young riders in the UK. The Aerox 450 bodywork was influenced from the slightly sportier, slightly wiser FR1. <laughs> so, you know, that's from the bottom right to the top there, but it does take that style from the R1 and you can see some of the hints there with the front, some of the back, you know, it looks really nice. Um, it's still a normal 50cc. You get the great storage, you get some impressive miles per gallon, which makes about 130 and it's sold like plenty over the years. It's, it's something that's been doing really well. You will expect to pay around £2,700 to get one on the road though, so. It has got a Yamaha price tag to yeah, it. The so. statistics behind it, as always, four stroke, liquid cooled, uh, single cylinder engine. 130 miles to the gallon, which you kind of expect from a Japanese engine like yeah. that. Six litre tank, weight of 97 kilograms, so not all that heavy in all fairness, for the, especially with the fuel tank size. At number two is the Peugeot Kisby 50. The Kisby is one that continues to do well to this day, regardless of whether it's got yeah, the top spot cool. or not. Um, ticking all the boxes for a small capacity commuter of great storage space and decent economy. It's also very lightweight uh, with a big fuel tank. For a simple scooter, you get some noteworthy positives, if you see what I mean with that. Price at £1,600, £1,600. So you really have quite a big contender yeah. in the 50cc market with this. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be no surprises here in terms of the stats. Again, four-stroke air-cooled single-cylinder engine, automatic twist and go, electric and kickstart. As you mentioned, the miles per gallon is about 150 with that 6.8 litre tank. So really respectable for a Kisby and a weight of 95 kilograms, as you say there. So really good. Coming in at number one, for the most popular 50cc scooter is going to be the Lexmoto Echo 50. Now it's going to be currently one of the most popular scooters out there. It's the Echo that really gives a great like you know, punch for the price. It's £1,100 which is really coming in low but you do get some good bits here. So it's going to be aimed at those who are new to riding or even those that just want to get around locally quickly so just like commute a scooter that's a bit of a workhorse. Get small wheels so builds up speed nice and quick and telescopic suspension. One noteworthy thing is the eight litre tank on this one as well. Again, four stroke single cylinder air cooled motor in it. 100 miles to the gallon, so not the best, but not the worst. It's eight litre tank, you'd expect a little bit more, mm. but uh, even still, even still. A weight of 78 kilograms, that is really, really, really light. Okay. But it's, it's one of those things, isn't it, Legs? It's been around for so long. So yeah. anyway, that is a list of our top 10 50cc scooters to keep an eye out for at the moment. As always, there are loads more out there. We've just comprised a quick list. Make sure you let us know in the comments which ones you'd be looking to get or that you're looking forward to seeing on the roads. Thank you very much for watching the video. Of course, subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you can get notified of our new content. And thank you very much for watching. Thanks.